Hello my lovelies and happy Wednesday. I thought I would come on today to just do a bit of a bit of a vlog really, a bit of a spend the afternoon with me. I was gonna do a spend the day with me, but that would mean breakfast, which would be tea, if I'm gonna wash, do my makeup, and I've done all that, so spend the afternoon with me that that's what we'll do. Um, let me just pause this washing machine. It's nearly finished. It's got 12 minutes left on it. So once I've done my little rabbit in on here, I'll, uh, I'll whack it back on. But I just thought you could spend the afternoon with me. I've got a few things to do. I've got some hoovering to do. I've got some polishing to do. I've got a... Um, flat pack furniture to build which isn't massive it's just for the bathroom but i've had it for a while now and i need to get it built um and what else i need to put some clothes away i've got my bed is a mess i've just left it a mess because i want to strip it um remake it which i'm not gonna do on camera i'll show you putting the clothes away but no my mattress ain't great and i don't want to show you my mattress but anyway i need a new one I'll, that's another thing i've got to do order a new mattress because my back has been so bad oh that's one behind me then but i think it's my hair yeah my oh white butterfly yeah my back has been so bad i've had such a bad flare up this morning i've been really groggy i mean for the last few days i've been really really bad and a bit over the weekend as well and this morning i, I got up early took my painkillers had a couple of coffees had some toast and i thought right i'm getting up i'm getting dressed i'm gonna put my face on sort my hair out and get on with the day because i, I can't do any more lazing around so that is what i'm doing um so today i've just put my hair up in a bit of a different style i don't know if you can see but i've got these little clips here and then I've just literally just wrapped my hair around and put one of those clips in the back there. I don't know if you can see it. And then the ponytail just comes out because my hair is so long now. And then I've got another clip on this side as well. So I've sort of clipped the front back like that in two sections and then got the rest of it, sort of like held it up, clipped it there and yeah. I just thought it was cute. And I've got my makeup on again that I did in my everyday makeup look that i think went up a couple of days ago i think it went up on monday so if you want to know how i do my everyday makeup i'll pop a picture of the vlog up here and i'll link it in the description box below and you can go and check it out go and see what i do um anyway i thought to start this one off I've just got a little Wilco haul that has been sat on my kitchen side since Friday and now we're on Wednesday the following week so let me just show you a few things that I've picked up from Wilco. Now I have used something out of this for my hair because I desperately desperately needed to dye my hair it was just, i just had loads of flecks of of gray in it or silver or whatever you want to call it i've got really itchy back so i picked up this one it's the garnier nutrice ultra cream 90 percent natural origin kit um i've used this one before it's really good and that's the color on the top there i mean in the in the sun it's got like a really nice sort of light browny, um, a bit of a ready tint to it, but you can see at the back I've used it because there's this bit in the back that's really good. So you get the bottle out, you mix it up, pop your gloves on, and then this just sort of sits on the side and the bottle sits in there. And you just don't get hair dye everywhere then. So what I do, I do it in my bathroom and I put an old towel, old stained towel in the sink I pop that on my towel, pop the dye in there, and I'm not using it as a butterfly just outside the window. Sorry if I took my attention away, but you know, I always go on about the white butterfly. 
Um, yeah, so you put your dye in there and then you don't get it everywhere and it works. Try it, trust me, much better. Yeah, I used that one. Um, let me get the receipt out and I'll tell you the prices. We've only got a few things, so I may as well tell you the prices as well. So that hair dye was £6.50. Not too bad for a Garnier one. Then I picked up some of the Dove Anti-Stress. I wasn't picking my bum then, I was picking my leg, is it you? <laughs> the Dove Anti-Stress Blue Chamomile and Oat Milk. And this is the body wash. So I've not seen this one before, but at the moment I'm using the normal Dove body wash and oh, it just makes you, the smell is beautiful. and. Your skin feels really soft. I can remember smelling this one. I thought it was lovely. Oh. It reminds me of being on holiday. A sort of sun creamy smell. It smells like, you know, like sweet cakes and things as well. It just, it smells absolutely beautiful. So that one was two pounds. And I also needed some hand wash down here. I've got some, a big aloe one in the bathroom that I bought from Aldi. But I can't get this out now. I've literally had to undo it and tip it out. So I've got this Dove Care and Protect Hand Wash Deep Cleaning with Antibacterial Effect. So got that one. Um, that one was, was a pound. And it smells beautiful as all dog products smell beautiful so let's flick that up pop it next to my sink and get rid of that one because i can't get any more out of that um next i always i think everywhere i go and i see these i just have to get more i mean i've run out of my lenore you know the blue ones i ran out of those the other day but i've still got let me show you. I've still got the Fabulosa Electrify one. So sometimes I use these and sometimes I use the Lenore because I get bored. I must admit, I mean, I, I, I know it's ridiculous. Like, should I be spending loads of money on these things? But it makes me happy and I don't always spend a lot of money. But, oh, these are beautiful. These are the Lenore In Wash Scent Boosters Gold Orchid Fragrance. So, beautiful, and they were gold orchid, do, 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 do. three pounds, they were six pounds down to three pounds, and I needed some more of the bold because I bought the Aldi um, washing liquid the other day, and I don't mind that at all, but I really like to have like quite a, a big one because the Aldi one is quite small and this smells amazing and it's the bold with built-in Lenore freshness and this is the same as this the gold orchid so i got them so yeah there uh, got a security sticker on it i think they just like rub it or something just to get that thing off it so it doesn't go off a very nice um light fragrance this is but it's beautiful so yeah that was everything i got that bold two in one was let me have a look five pound fifty that big one the other scents were four quid um but silly me i want them to smell the same so I paid £1.50 extra, but it does last a while. It says 24 washes, and I think I do literally get 24 washes out of this one. So, it's good. So, yeah, that's all i got from Wilco. Um, what else did I want to show you? Ah, yeah, wait a minute. So, on the same day that I went to Wilco, we popped into the charity shop that we always go in. Oh, let me just wait for that to start. So annoying. So yeah, we went into this charity shop and before I went in, I says, I never find anything in here. And then I walked in and I found 
these two. So these are lampshades. Um, I want to get some, just some little plain lamps to go inside them. Um, but I just thought these were perfect colours for my house. So this colour is very similar. So if I turn you around, you see that wall there? with the paper and the, the brown sofa. This, on that little side there, perfect. Look at the colours over that picture as well there. This was a pound. Absolutely brilliant. So yeah, I've got that one for my kitchen. And then this one I got for my living room because I've got like greens and yellows in the living room. So I thought just on the shelf in the living room, stick it on in the evening, it's a beautiful one. I just think they look, they look so homely, you know, like stained glass. Um, I just think they're, they're beautiful. I, I absolutely love the colours and it looks really homely and they're nice warm colours. So yeah, um, and yeah, this one was a pound as well. So beautiful bargain so i don't think i've managed to pick up anything in a charity shop for a good few years so i'm really chuffed with them actually no no tell a lie the last time i picked something up in a charity shop was one of those drink trolleys and it's in the shape of a globe um i got that for my stepdad's birthday not this year last year um, June 2021 um, and we went over to so I found it on eBay and they were selling it in a charity shop which was in where was it was it in Daventry or something it was it was quite a way away from here it wasn't too far but you know it's probably like a over half an hour drive and Marcus and Kelsey um, came over with me to pick it up. Well, Marcus took me. Me and Kelsey were having a look around. Um, and I bought Kelsey, I think it was like um, one of those crystals, gems, crystals. They're called crystals. I, I'll get this wrong every time. Anyway, I got one of them because she really liked it. She was gonna put it back after she asked him how much it was. And I can't, I think it's about five pounds or something. So I said, I'll, I'll get it for you as a gift. Cause you know, I like buying them things. So yeah, I got that. And I got the, the drinks trolley from there and it was in such perfect condition. And um, yeah, I think he really liked it. So yeah. But yeah, I found some I found some good finds in these shops. Do you know what that drinks trolley would look perfect in my kitchen as well because the colours on it are all the same that I've got in here. You know, like the the browns and the like the deep greys and the beiges and stuff, the golds, all those sort of colours. So anyway, I'm babbling on now, but uh, yeah, I was, I was just so chuffed with those little finds because I just never find anything. I was looking at the clothes and there was a couple of bits that I've seen, but the clothes weren't cheap in there at all. Like there was, I think there was some trousers that I liked and I think there was £7.50, which isn't, isn't bad, but I think I'm going off um, Faye's little charity hauls that she does. She calls them the Chazers the charity shops, the Chazers. And when she goes, she gets items for a pound, a pound each. And the, the kids' clothes, I think she says you get four or five for a pound, which is amazing. So I need to find, I think it's called Sue Ryder. And I'm pretty sure we've got a Sue Ryder in Coventry. I just need to go and find out where it is. Um, there's a couple of charity shops over the other side of the city that I want to go to. So, yeah do that one day take you along with me you can have a look and then hopefully we will get some good buys but i'm, I'm really bubbling on this video is going to be so long so what i'm going to do now i'm gonna make myself something quick to eat okay so i'll catch you in a bit <laughs>
down my top i normally do i normally get food all down on me but don't think i have this time but anyway <clears throat> i've had some deliveries from vintage so i thought i'd just uh, show you what i've got and these are for my holiday hopefully we are going to book a holiday can you hear that plane going across now i hope they're going to my night anyway yeah so these are my holiday clothes i've been picking up so the first one is this lovely red and white top and it's like a off the shoulder top or i might be able to pull it how i've got this one today because this is an off the shoulder top as well but i just like it ruffly and yeah so it's pretty much a very similar sort of cut to this. This is from originally, this is originally from, shall I say, in the style and it's a size 16. So beautiful. I will put the price here of how much this was because I can't remember. So everything I show you, I'll pop the prices here. So yeah, I absolutely love that. If I put it up close, you can see the print. So it's like little red flowers. And I've been looking um, on In The Style when this first came out. And for some reason I put it in my basket and then never bought it. So I'm so glad I found it on Vinted. It, it looks brand new. Uh, the next things that I've got are all in the original packaging. And um, so they are from Vinted but they're originally from Cupshe. And I've got one, two, three. So the first one, the Cupshe are very similar to Sheehan when it comes to their packaging. Um, so these are all swimwear. So this is a lovely one-piece swimming costume. That's uh, like a halter neck one. Um, so it's got the halter neck, um, 
it's a big chest so hopefully my chest will fit in it and then it's got another bit that sort of wraps around and I think you can sort of wrap it around again to the front and it's quite a high leg do you see what I mean it's quite a high leg one so yeah and this was in a size still got the labels on it look XL which I think was coming up as a 16 that's how they've put it down they've, they've just put XL but yeah I'm pretty sure that will fit me now if I'm confident enough I will do a try on if I'm confident enough but yeah I am going to try them on in a bit anyway but I won't try them on on camera today I'll do it another day but it's a lovely pattern on the top, like a really nice corally pink colour with the flowers. Lovely jubbly. Got back in there. Then I've got this one, which is another floral one, but this one is a nice green colour. So this is so it's like a high neck one and then it's got this bit cut out here um another sort of a high leg cut on it um full bum and then just like that at the back but look how pretty it is this lovely pattern around the side of it so hopefully my boobies will fit in there but oh absolutely gorgeous i absolutely love the color and the high neck with that little bit cut out gorgeous so yeah that was the next one i'm really chuffed with these and yeah that one's got the tag on it and i think that was an xl as well wasn't it actually one of them was yeah that was an xl as well i think one of them was a coming up with a 14 but I'm, I'm sure it was this green one so let's have a look so the next one is this this is in a bigger packet and this is a navy blue and white one so it's basically so it's cut out how can I show you so let me just get it right one moment one moment so basically it's that's like a wrap round so that wraps round the way so that was right let me show that so these bits so it goes on the shoulders like that and then these two bits come round and then you've got a oh, hole in the middle i really i don't know why i'm going to show you this it's really awkward but it's a lovely like rib navy blue and then it's got like navy blue and white straps like a nautical sort of style and then the tie around the back so yeah it's just got like it's it's like cut out here just on the stomach area and then they cover and then they've got the straps so yeah so that one is also um a brand new one and this is an xxl so yeah pretty sure my boobies will fit in there but like i said i'm going to try them on and see how we go all of the um hygiene things are still in them so yeah they're all brand new so absolutely love them I'm going to go and try them on now and like I said if I'm brave enough I'll show you right I've tried them all on and they fit but it's so hot today trying anything on it's scorching so I'm not brave enough to show you I'm just in my wardrobe fucking shocking so I'm not brave en enough to show you the whole thing but i'm trying to get the best light in oh not like that so this is just the top of the swimming costume and how gorgeous is that 
I love it. So they all fit. It's just absolutely boiling today. I'm gonna put my fan on actually. Oh god, I'm so hot. I don't know why did I not have this fan on when I was actually trying them on. I do not know. I'm not um I'm not brave enough to show show myself in a swimming costume yet, but I absolutely love this one. Oh it's gorgeous. The blue navy blue one that's like all over the place is a bit awkward to get on but um once it's on it you know it looks all right it's quite tight though that one seeing as that one's the x is the extra large i think it's like a hold you in place one because it's quite tight around the stomach but this is what i wanted to tell you guys i have bought a rowing machine um i was gonna buy it from decathlon um, it's actually it's actually made by Decathlon, the um, the sports shop. But it's like, is it classed as a sports shop or is it? It is, isn't it? Yeah, and they do like hiking stuff and they they do everything like outdoorsy things. I'm absolutely sweating. I bet you can see it. I'm, woo! But anyway, yeah. So I had a look on Decathlon and I found the one I wanted. Um, and then I thought, you know what, I'll, I'll have a look around. And I found the exact same one um, from Argos for a little bit cheaper. So I thought, I'll just buy it from Argos. And it's it's that click and collect thing. So I just paid for it and it's ready to be collected today because I paid for it last night. So hopefully Matthew will be able to go after work and pick it up for me. And then I can start doing my workouts. That's one of the, my favourite machine to go on at the gym when i used to go to the gym is the row machine i used to spend loads of time on the row machine and the row machine is a full body workout so i don't know if any of you want to see me do any working out on the row machine if you do let me know um i might just whack a, a few minutes footage of me um doing it in one of my vlogs but yeah i really want to push myself now because um i'm not confident in in my body um i'm going to be you know brutally honest now um i'm size 16 and i'm not confident at all i i don't think i suit being this big i think i suit being a a 12 i really do well I, I, you know i like being curvy but i hate my belly I don't mind having big hips or big bum, but I hate my belly. And I always used to be like up and down with my weight, but I never really put weight on my belly. And I really have this time. And I think it's because of my age. I've started getting that sort of um, grunt area. Is uh, yeah. You know. So yeah, I just, uh, I want to just try and work out, try and eat better now. This was my last, day of eating crap i really need to cut down. i'm not going to cut everything out but i am going to really try again because i fell off the wagon before i started my healthy eating earlier on this year a few months ago and it didn't go very well so i, I just need to try again and i think it will help my fibro my algae as well because I keep having flare-ups, I keep getting migraines and my legs hurt when I walk and I absolutely love walking but I can't walk very far now and I know it's because of my weight. I'm not I'm not hiding away from the fact that I have put on weight. I do call myself fat and I'm sorry if that triggers anybody, I do apologise but I'm very, very truthful with myself. I don't lie and make out as if I, you know, I love my body and I don't think I'm fat because I do. Um, and I know I need to sort it out because it's not good for my health. If I was perfectly healthy and I could walk around and stuff, then maybe, but this isn't healthy. This really isn't healthy for me. So I need to do something about it. It's not good for my depression. It's just making me worse. So I need to stop the takeaways and to stop eating so much sugar. I eat a lot of sugar throughout the day and 
snacking on packets and packets of crisps. One packet of crisps, fine. But packet after packet is not good. So, yeah. I'm going to be strict on myself. So, anyway, I'm going to... I'm going to quickly get changed off camera. I'm not doing it on camera. And then I'll pop you up and you can have a watch me put my clothes away. And um, I think that'll be it for the day now. I was going to polish, but I'm really, really hot and bothered. And I've got to save some stuff for tomorrow. Uh, I think I'll just polish tomorrow now. Um, so, yeah. Let me just get changed and I'll be back in a moment. Got to show you this one, didn't I? Now I've got my like sports tight, like non-wired bra thing on today. So I really need to get myself a strapless bra, but I haven't got one that's comfortable at the moment. So I'm not gonna put one on just to try this on. But this is the top. It's got lovely like flowy short sleeves and it's nice and flowy here. So yeah. I love it. It fits perfectly. It'll be perfect for my holiday. So, yeah. What do you think? Let me know. Thank you. 